Perry Football Club. They were thrown out. They were thrown out. They were thrown out. Welcome to another episode of Dead and Bury. I'm your host, Captain FM. Yes, welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen, to the new name that is Captain FM. We are relaunching and going for something a little bit different. That's my plug. There you go. But we're going to get straight onto the game today. And we're on to an absolute massive one, ladies and gentlemen. We have the chance to go and win the league in this episode and get promoted up to the Vanarama North. There is no time to waste let's just get straight on to it oh and it's the first time we're going to see wayne rooney in a bury shirt live on camera it doesn't get any better than that since we were last together we played fc united we followed that draw up with a 4-1 away victory at witten where rafael garcia got a double asgard and josh appier finished off the route and it was an easy three points for us and then we had the most craziest game ever where we won by six goals to four against Bamba Bridge. Another away victory. This time, Jermaine Defoe getting four goals for us in this game. The 39-year-old has decided to retire at the end of the season. I did ask him to reconsider it, but he said, no, my time is up. And then he went and bagged four. It's mental. And then we went and finished off February with a 3-3 draw against Blythe Spartans at home. They were 3-1 up in this game and we scored two in the last five minutes. Ben Hockenhill and Josh Appier getting his second of the game to grab us the point. We then went into March and we started off with a victory in the quarterfinal of the Indie Grow League Cup where Josh Appier and Asgard scored the goal to knock out Matlock and put us through to the semi-final. That was then followed by a 3-1 victory over Prescott Cables where Defoe, Appiah and Illiman and I all scored to get us the three points. They went down to ten men and they were never coming back. Then this was just the start of a little dip that we had. No defeats, just a couple of draws and the first one came against Buxton. It was nil-nil. It was bloody rubbish. And the second one came against Warrington and they're rubbish as well. Hockenau scored. They scored an equaliser in the 70th minute and that was it. But then we were back at home, back at Gig Lane, and we played Bradford Park Avenue, won by two goals to nil. This time, Josh Appiah and Denzel Paul, a youngster who played in his first game for us, 18 years of age, came off the bench, scored the goal, and I was absolutely bloody delighted for him. He's born in Bury. What a lad. Then we went into April and we played Matlock this time in the league. Rob Arca getting two and Dal back on the score sheet, back in the team for a 3-1 victory. Then we strolled our way to the final with a 3-1 thrashing over Buxton. Jermaine Defoe with two and Rob Arco scored with eight minutes to go to finish off the route. Then we've just played in our last game and it was another 3-0 victory. This time Defoe, Dal and Hockhill on the 91st minute to finish off the route. And Potter's in this position today, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can see, we are now playing Sheffield and Trafford. I didn't want to bring you the Sheffield game, but we might be able to win the league today. And if we don't, then we'll probably win the league against Trafford. Let's just have a look at the league and at the points difference. So, we are currently, what is that? That is 16 points ahead of Moorpath. And we have got, let's just have a quick look back onto the schedules. We have got... 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and then 21 points available in the league. So we're 16. And if we win and the other teams all lose around us, then we will go down to, well, we'll go 19 points clear, basically. And that won't be enough. And we will win the league today. If not, then we go to Trafford and we'll probably win the league there and then. But it's going to be a double episode Whichever, unless everyone loses in the first one and we absolutely smash Sheffield. So there you go. That is the scenario. That's where we sit. We're so far ahead of everyone. Let's just go and win the league today and let everyone else just fall apart. That'd be a great idea, wouldn't it? It'd be a fantastic one. Right, here we go. Game day is upon us. They are in decent form, but they are pretty much, I think they're around mid-table at Sheffield. Below, just below mid-table as well. So we should go and be able to beat these quite easily today. 
This is going to be the team that is going to hopefully go on with the league for us. It's Yaros in goal. It's O'Connor, Hockenell and McGuinness at the back. Those three at the back have not changed all the bloody season. We've got Asgard on the right with Lansbury and Rooney in the middle with Rafael Garcia now pipping Dow on that left-hand side. Sebastian Nabala, Josh Appiah and Jermaine Defoe up top. Come on, the boys. Let's go and get the win today. As you can see, Rooney is our star man and our captain today. So if we win the trophy, then he will be lifting it. They're going for the same formations they had earlier this season, a 4-4-1-1. I don't give a crap about them. We're going to get straight on to the team talk. I'm going to go straight to Hoops and say, what do you want, Hoops? He says, go, and, go, go and t just go and pick up where you last left off. Absolutely. And I do agree with him. I think we won 3-0 in the last game. In fact, I am right and I've got faith in you. Go and bloody do it, lads. I'm not sure if there's a little bit of tension in the air, but this is the first highlight there is after 23 minutes of the game played so far, and it's going to be coming to Sheffield. I thought they were in the bottom half of the table. They're actually just in the top half of the table. They're sitting in ninth for the minute, so they've probably had a bit of better second half of the season, but that was not the best cross, and here we go with Garcia, who fires Jermaine Defoe, who fires us into the lead. It's just easy stuff. Garcia just taking his players on, just running past them with a flair and finesse of David Ginola, and there he gives a sublime little pass back inside to Mr. Jermaine Defoe, who just fires it past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 to the Shakers. Come on the boys in blue and white. Another highlight after 27 minutes and here we go. It's Wayne Rooney looking for the pass he can't find it. It comes to Henry Lansbury and he is tackled and they're looking to come forward here at Sheffield and it's Knight on the ball to Casey now. Casey coming forward to Van and Van knocks the ball to Willard, but it's not the best pass in the world. And we go back and we start once again. And it's O'Connor now, puts the ball forward. And it's Nabala. Nabala to Josh Appiah, who could make it too. And it's a big save by the goalkeeper. And he's going to come away with it. Whew. At this moment in time, we are sitting 16 points clear. So we will be going to Trafford and hopefully taking the trophy there and then. Because Morpath are doing a job, whoever they're playing. It looks like we've got to go to the break here and we're winning by goal to nil. Get a second and things will just be absolutely rosy. Great stuff. Encourage the players to get back out there and keep on on top the boys. 60 minutes gone and nothing's happened in this second half so far. Uh, Josh Happ is on a 6.4. We might be looking to get him off here and hopefully bring someone who can get us that second goal or do we just stick with what we've got? I think we're going to make the change with 20 minutes to go. Made that change, but nothing's happened since that actual change. So Ark has come on and done absolutely nothing, and the watching time just kind of tick away here. No one's done anything in the second half, and here comes a highlight for Sheffield. Do not let these score. Asgard does get the ball away there with the header, and it's a great header at that. And Lansbury sends Harker free, and he's got Defoe in the middle. Can he find him? No, the defender does really well in tackling, but we've got to win that back, and we don't. And here comes Sheffield coming from the back here. Pump the ball forward. Willard wins the ball. And here comes Hilton. Are these going to give us a bit of a sucker punch here? All we've got to do is hold on. And it looks like they're bombing forward a little bit. And here comes Willard. Ball goes into the box. It's bah, well, good tackle there by Stefan O'Connor. And we pump the ball at the field. And we are panicking now. We need to calm down a little bit. Ball gets pumped to the field. Ockano with Zeta. Rooney picks it up. Rooney, lovely ball over the top. Jermaine Defoe. Can he put a Tony up in? He can. And he fires it home to make it. Is 20th goal of the season for the veteran England, former England striker. And it was a lovely ball from the former England captain, Wayne Rooney, who pumps it over the top for Jermaine Defoe. And Defoe is through and he fires it past the goalkeeper. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is game, set and match. And we go towards Trafford to go and win the title. And I think that's going to be that, ladies and gentlemen. And it is 2-0 professional. Defoe gets the two. Rooney assist. And I cannot be more happier. Very happy. Fantastic stuff. Right, there's confirmation of the 2-0 victory for us. And it does put us 16 points clear. We are now, let's just have a quick look at the remaining fixtures. So we have got, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 points available and we're 16 points clear. So a win in the next game against Trafford and we will be crowned champions and we'll be going up to the Vanarama North. I will see you there in two ticks.
Right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The second game is upon us, and it is our home game against Trafford, and it is the big one. Right, one win, and we're there. That's it. That's all the motivation that the players need. These are in very good form, though. They're sitting in fifth in the table at this moment in time, so they're not going to be an easy team to just push over. Right, the starting 11 is going to be Yaros in goal, Hockenhill, McGuinness and O'Connor at the back. We've just moved them around a little bit. It's Asgard, Lens, Lensbury, Lansbury, Rooney and Garcia on the left hand side with Nabala sitting just behind Appiah and Jermaine Defoe. Come on the boys, let's just go and win this and get the title. They're going for a 4-4-2, I don't care. I just don't care. Let's just get straight on to it. Right, we shouldn't need any much encouragement. He's absolutely right. The title is at stake. Give the team a bit of a lift. I absolutely agree with the hoops. And then we're going to come in there and say to the lads, you can go and make the difference nice and calmly. Let's go and do it. Right, free kick. Rooney puts it in there. 1-0. Matt McGuinness. Oh, we're off to an absolute flyer. Six minutes in there. Wayne Rooney. What an assist once again. Flicks it in there. And there is Matt McGuinness to put the ball in the back of the net. Lovely ball. Lovely header. Lovely goal. 1-0 to the Shakers. Come on, the boys. Another highlight. Only a minute after that goal. And this time it's Trafford coming onto it. Ferguson. 1-1. What a game so far. This is straight off the cuff. Hot off the presses, and we are 1-1 already before 10 minutes on the clock. And that was rather easy for the boys in yellow. There's Ferguson with the header, and Yaros just could not keep it out. Burry 1, Trafford 1. Another highlight, 10 minutes on the clock, and here comes Ebanks. Garcia trying to close him down there. We've got to win that header, and McGinnis does. It's Garcia on the ball. With an absolute suicide pass into the middle. And Trafford are on this. And it's Ebanks. And then Garcia dives in there. And gives a penalty away. This game has been turned on its head straight away. And it's a chance for Trafford to go 2-1 up here. And to really put the cat amongst the pigeons. And are we going to bottle this one? We need to win this game really. Because I don't want to play another episode this season. <laughs> I don't want to record anything. I, thought, I kind of assumed that we would just win the league anyway. And things would be absolutely rosy. And at this moment in time, things are not. Half an hour on the clock here. And we've done absolutely nothing. I'm going to actually shout on a bit of encouragement here. I demand a bit more. Right, it's five minutes to go before the break here, and we're absolutely doing nothing. We've done absolutely nothing. Can we do something? Everyone's just panicking a little bit. We need to get him in the shed, or do we? Rooney puts the ball in there. There's Hocken over the header, and we've got one back right on half time. And it's 2 2, and they've scored an own goal. Hocken over the header. I think he might have just hit the lad and gone in, or did it hit the bar and hit him and go in? I'm not sure, but Rooney is just killing him with these free kicks. Ball in there, off the bar, off the player, and into the back of the net. He couldn't do much about it. And Kane Evans. Brings it back for us. 2-2 two, two, as we go into the break. Oh my God, we needed that. Thank goodness for Wayne Rooney. We have been disappointing today. Absolutely. The question is, can we go and win it in this second half? All we've got to do is get one more goal. We're on 88 points, which is 16 points still clear. And I don't think that's enough. I can't remember how many games we've got left and how many points we needed to get. I think we just need to get one more goal. And we are champions today. Ball goes into the box. It comes all the way through. And Asgard's got to get there. And he half does. But he doesn't win the ball back. And they give the ball to Baldwin. Ball goes in there. He banks and he should have scored for Trafford. And it should be 3-2 to them. Josh Appy is on a 6.3. I think we're going to be getting him off. Absolutely. Because he's done nothing. Did nothing in the last game. And he's done nothing in this one. And it's Lumsden though. There is a highlight. Pumps the ball forward, we've got to win it, and we do. Emery Lansbury now on the ball, pumps it outside, it goes to Josh Appiah. Appiah puts it into the box. And Nabal is trying to get there, but he's not doing enough. Our defence has got to get there, and they're not, they're not getting there. Ferguson's got to go through here. He's got a chance to make it 3-2, and it's a big save by Yaros in goal. And I'm going to make the subs after this corner. Ball is going to come in here, though, for Trafford. And the ball does come in. McGuinness wins the header away. Is that going to be the end of the highlight? It is. Right, the subs are going to be Sebastian Nabala off and we're going to be getting and die onto the pitch. But we're going to be moving Wayne Rooney up into that advanced playmaker position as a shadow striker. Nabala can play as the advanced playmaker. In fact, he can be the Mazala and Lansbury who's on a 6.4 as well, not doing great, can stay on the pitch because he's more motivated as the advanced playmaker. We're also going to get Josh Appier off and we're going to get Rob Arker onto the pitch. And they're the two, two changes we're going to make today. People need to step up a little bit more in this match. 
Right, I've told the lads to get creative out there, see if they can do something magical. Can we really do something? They're playing as that Shadow Striker just behind the two up top. And we've done absolutely nothing. We have 16 points clear. Does that make us champions? I'm not actually sure. Ball goes into the box. A goal definitely will do here. And Trafford are going to clear it, but it's not going to be the best clearance in the world. And we can start again. Asgard to Hockenhill. Can he find the right pass? McGuinness. McGuinness just pumps it to Garcia. And he's not going to get on that, but he will get that on the loose ball to Lansbury. Back to Garcia. Garcia pumps it out there. It's Asgard. Asgard on the ball. It's in die now. Ilium and Undai just back from injury. And he doesn't get the right pass away. Hockenhill. Pump forward again. And it's just it's really poor. It is really poor football from us today. But that is a bad pass. And Garcia can break here. Can he pump forward? There, lads, on a yellow card. He's going to be off here. Second yellow early bath for him. Right, we've got to get forward. Rooney, can he make an art trick of assist? He gives it to Garcia. He's going to ask for it back. It's Wayne Rooney, the edge of the box. Ah! Oh! <laughs> he smashes it against the post. I thought that was the fairy tale ending to this season. We're still 16 points clear. I think that's going to be enough, you know. I really do. Rooney's looking exhausted, apparently, out there. But we couldn't. We're going to keep him on. Rooney puts the ball into the box. It's and die. Is that a penalty? And it is. <gasps> Who's going to get the penalty? Who is going to get the penalty? Is it Jermaine Defoe? Is it Wayne Rooney? Who's going to take the pen? <laughs> Who takes that pen? It's Wayne Rooney. To put it in front. It's free to. It's Wayne Rooney. <laughs> Rooney. 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 Unbelievable stuff. You could not make it up. This save is getting better and better. It's a fairy tale ending for Mr. Wayne Rooney, who has put us free to up, and we are about to go and win the league. I'm going to pause the game so we can watch the celebrations. And as I watch time tick away, we've got four minutes to hold on here, and they're down to ten men, remember. So it will be a massive, massive effort from them to try and get an equaliser. But I think it's going to be enough. Is the referee going to blow it? It does, and there's Rooney. He lifts the trophy for Bury as he scores the goal that wins it for them. And we have got another promotion in the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the Vanarama North. We are getting ever, ever closer to those football league places. Incredible stuff. You could not make that up, eh? You could not make that one up. Incredible scenes. Outstanding. I am delighted for you, lads, and so is the hoops. Oh, amazing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The 3-2 victory is cemented and confirmed, and we clinch the Northern Premier League Premier Division title, and we go up to the Vanarama North. Can you believe it? What are the board's initial budgets £46,000 per week that gives us a good like £16,000 to spend on players and we've got a transfer budget of £90,000 that will go straight back into the wages because we'll be bringing players in on free transfers I lead the team to glory I am called Captain Birdie Man on this but obviously I am the Captain FM these days I can't change my name unless I get sacked and then I start again, but we're not going to bother. <laughs> the the board are absolutely delighted. They expected it and they were happy that it went through and everyone got a bloody medal. Have I actually become a legend at the club or anything yet? Because recently, last time I checked, I was still on the favourite personnel. And I am. I brought them three consecutive promotions back to back. In legends, they got Dan Effenham, the Superman, and Tom McEwen, who can't even get in the teams these days. It's crazy stuff. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I am playing in a cup final in a couple of weeks' time against Morpath. But I'm going to be honest with you. My bod don't care about it. It's not important. And I don't think it's important as well. For this overarching objective of what we want to do is get back to the Football League and go beyond that and go all the way to the Premier League, I think... We just play out the rest of the season now. We've won it. It doesn't matter. We are champions. And I think we come back for the next episode in the Vanarama North. And we will do a summer. And we'll come back to check out all the changes that have taken place. And how we're getting on in that new division. It's incredible scenes. It's incredible stuff. And Mr. Wayne Rooney. I'm going to ask him again. I'm going to see if I can ask him again. To see if he does not want to retire. Because he's just gone and stepped up to the mark. Two assists. And then he goes and scores the penalty. I can't ask him. I just can't ask him. It's not fair. It's not fair. I want him. I want him to stay at the club. <sighs> can we offer him a new contract? He doesn't want one. I'm looking to progress my career by moving on. 
<sighs> it's just sad times. It's just sad times. But what a player. What a man. And more legends will come to this save, <laughs> to this series. And Jermaine Defoe retire as well. With 20 goals into his name. Outstanding stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I have. If you have, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And share it amongst family and friends on social media. Thanks for all the love and support recently on my channel. And thank you for your love and support since my new relaunch of the new Nade Captain FM. Everyone seems to have loved it and I've enjoyed bringing it to you as well. Also, big shout out to any new view new viewers to these videos and to my YouTube channel as well. If you have subscribed recently, then thank you very much. If you haven't, then go and click on my name and go and press the subscribe button and then you will not miss a single episode that does come out. Big ups to the lads over at passion fm for their continued support on my Football Manager videos. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm up to, then go and follow me at Captain Captain FM on Twitter. I'm still getting used to it, but I'll tell you what I am going to get used to. Playing in the Vanarama North next season, I will see you there for another episode of Dead and Bury, the rise of AFC Bury in a couple of days' time. Bye-bye. Come on, Championis. Wayne Rooney, what a legend.